afternoon. I'm Jen Carlman, followed with Andrew Luria. We are following some breaking news out of the East Village where the bomb squad detonated what looked like it could be a grenade late this after, late this morning, in fact. They're looking for two men after a 21 year old was shot and killed near the pier. Yeah, that shooting happened last night, and Fox 5's Eric Richards was out there this morning with new details. The Old County Fair opens today. And this year's theme, the old a toddler and a baby were hospitalized after a fire burned at an apartment complex in Oceanside. Yeah, fire said that uh, it's hotter than the sun. It's 53,000 degrees. That's how much it can be, a lightning strike. Yikes. The sun's only 10,000. Well, it's not that. All right. cool. Uh, the massive landslide up in Big Sur has added 13 acres to the California. It, they must be prickly, too. That's why they wear the yeah, gloves. Yeah, right. It appears so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that company, Viasat, sent up its latest satellite into space yesterday with the idea of delivering high-speed broadband to more homes and commercial airliners for in-flight Wi-Fi. At San Diego Union Tribune, Kathy Griffin is speaking out about her controversial photo that came out recently showing her holding what appeared to be a bloody head resembling President Trump. Yes, yeah, she says she's now receiving death threats and was contacted by the Secret service since that picture was released. Griffin held a news conference today accusing the president and his family of trying to ruin her life. And again, she apologized over the photo. Here's some of that news conference from this. We popped out here at this time of the day. Yes. Wasn't it? Yes. yes. Right. Jason, the sun is the San Diego County Fair is officially underway yeah, eight they, minutes in. That's right. The gates <laughs> opened a couple minutes ago. Exactly that. And the uh, first of more than a million expected visitors to the fair this year are currently making their way in. He's not up in the trees, in the tree. Yes, indeed. All right, first day of the San Diego County Fair, yes. Rock and Roll Marathon this weekend. Yep. Yes. Lots going on. Oh, uh, all these have off duty at the time. Wow. Their site inside are looking for two men after a 21 year old was shot and killed. Yeah, he was found near the Oceanside Pier last night and Fox 5's Eric Richards explained active marriage typically takes place between two adults. But now some women are apparently changing things up. Here is Jennifer Lommers with the details on a new trend of women marrying on around San Diego this weekend. There is. And the person to talk about it is Andrew and I. Yes, uh, that is actually true. But <laughs> that is true. Kathy Griffin says that she is being bullied by President Trump's family over her controversial photo shoot. And today she apologized once again for her recent picture showing her with a severed head of what looked to be the president. Our Phil Blower is in the newsroom with Griffin's comments today during a news conference she held. The San Diego County Fair officially underway. Yeah, for the last, that is the, uh, the new attraction, I believe. Without the pokies. All right, let's get over to Jason Hanman for a look at the traffic conditions because yes. that's like made it and man, a lot to do this weekend in San yes, Diego. Yes, indeed. The question is, how's the weather going to be for all of it? Let's get it over to meteorologist Laura. Both of those women are Wonder Women. Yes, they do. The actual Wonder Woman is on a 75 year journey who's is now on the big screen. Yeah, here's Rick Damagello with uh, what the cast is saying about the new movie that's now out. Shot. Right. Well, it doesn't happen very often. All right, let's get it over to meteorologist Aloha Taylor. It is Friday, a yes, beautiful weekend on tap. And sounds good, Aloha. Thank you so much. And that does it for the Fox 5 News at 5 on this Friday. And here's Kathleen Bay with what's coming up at 6. <laughs> Obviously, you all know that I am expecting. And today is my last day. <laughs> but you never know. <laughs> okay. What do you think? I think it's a boy. Now, I also thought that with my first, and I was clearly wrong. <laughs> So, are we trying to guess the gender? Yeah, this is the gender cupcake reveal. Anyone on Facebook weighing in on what do they think, Sean? Mostly saying boy. Mostly wow. saying boy, okay. Get a good shot, a side shot of the belly. Yes. Get her profile. With my yoga pants. <laughs> <laughs> Always a fashion statement. <laughs> okay, so let's all gather around. Where's Paul? I see him on the left. Oh, boys. All right. Wow, oh, way more boys. Doug, Raha, come on. You guys, we've got muffins, cupcakes. Come on. If we get together a little bit more. Wow, yeah, we got to squish in. Sean, you got to put what you think. I'm having a boy or a girl. Yeah, these just sound regular cupcakes. You don't just get a regular cupcake. He's like, oh, cool, a cupcake. Bye. Bye. Okay, Raha thinks it's right. There's producer Doug, everybody. Okay, closer together. Nobody get icing in my hair, please. Yes. Okay, so we're all looking up at Paul. Don't look at Paul. Ready? Everybody? Everybody's yay for baby! We're gonna make it! 
Mr. Jen. I'm in charge. Um, I will be back in mid-October. Misha DeBono is taking over for me during the week, so tune in, obviously still. And I'll keep you all posted. I'm due technically the end of June, but I was two weeks late with my first. Let's hope it's not that late for this one. Um, but I'm really